Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to Taskmaster Tuesday for Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Being a crew member aboard any warship was a particularly dangerous matter, especially in the wars. Um, nowadays, probably much less so, but still, trying to keep your crew alive is key for any captain. That's why, in this week, we're trying to keep as much of our crew alive as possible. We're trying to take down five Chinese battleships, and we can do that with either using three battleships, six heavy cruisers, or 12 light cruisers. The choice is to the Admiral, who is going to be making an attempt at completing the task. If you get all enemy battleships killed, or rather per battleship killed, you gain six points. So that is a solid 30 points that you can get. And I would very much like to get those, because once again, the Serious Strategy Gamer is taking the lead in this season. Uh, all of us still have two weeks to catch up to him, that's this week and the next, because we only have three videos in this season. Now, six points per battleship killed, but if we lose ships, we're going to lose points. If you lose a battleship, you lose four points. If you lose a heavy cruiser, you lose two points. If you lose a light cruiser, you lose one point. So losing 12 light cruisers is going to hurt as much as losing three of your battleships. If you get the lowest number of crew members formed or used in forming your groups, um, or sorry, in forming your group, so let's say you get three battleships with the lowest crew, then you get 10 points. If you get the most surviving crew at the end of the match, then you also get 10 points. So these are 10 points that um, can go to, well, to anyone. But the most surviving crew um, is percentage-based. So, for example, if you start out with 1,100 crew um, and somebody else starts out with 5,000 crew, it's not like they're going to get the most surviving crew. This is going to be percentage-based. Now, this is going to be doing a bit of math. Um, I made sure that the task is fairly balanced, so having three battleships is going to take about as much crew as going with a couple of light cruisers. The thing is, um, you now also have the way to make these guys elite or not. And elite crew or uh, veteran crew does give you substantial bonuses, both in accuracy, aiming time, loading, and fire control, or sorry, damage control. Taking down five battleships, um, we're going to go with the light cruiser task. I'm going to go with 12 light cruisers, which is going to make this pretty interesting, <laughs> especially that these things uh, are probably pretty easy to hit and even easier to kill off. Now, what I want to try and go for is having the most surviving crew, as well as having the lowest number of crew uh, on my ships altogether. Currently, what I have is... Where is my crew? 153 crew members aboard this light cruiser. But it's going to be a bit more than that, because I still have to add some stuff to the ship, such as a front tower and a secondary tower. Uh, and torpedo launchers... Unfortunately, we do not get a whole lot of them. It's not like I can mount a ton of them. Um, and they can be 15-inch only. That's as good as they're going to get. But hopefully the enemy will not have a ton of bulkheads and will not have a ton of anti-torp. Uh, we'll just have to hope that they don't have that. When it comes to speed, I think that's going to be more important than anything else. Because I need to get in there, torpedo the target, and get out there. It's <laughs> basically hit-and-run tactics. That is a lot of slots for 4-inch guns. I'll have one there and one there. Uh, push. Push the... No. Why do I have a 2.5% weight offset already? No, I should be pushing this forward. I should be pushing this forward. There we go. Balanced. Um, I'm going to make these guys as elite as possible. 100 level veterancy. Increasing the amount of bulkheads will keep my ships and thus hopefully my crew alive. Because if I lose one, I'm going to lose a lot of people. Even though there are only 203 people aboard this ship. I'm going to set quarters to cramped. Which means I get 167 crew members um, for control out of 167. So any damage I take is likely to lose me crew. Complement total, 216 crew members aboard this cruiser. What else would I need? 
Um, I don't need that many shells, because the shells are more of an afterthought than anything else. I will make them heavy. Uh, I don't get any kind of upgrades when it comes to the type of powder. If I want to make this thing faster, oh lord, that's going to go pretty bad. You see, crossing about 10,000 meters with a light cruiser at 17 knots is a pretty dangerous venture. And these torpedo launchers only hit at 0.9 kilometer range. I cannot change the propellant of the torpedo or the propulsion, so it's not like I can make them oxygen fueled and give them 50% more range or uh, get them less detection range. These light cruisers are going to head into battle and they're going to take a ton of damage, probably. Engine efficiency, 64%. And I cannot do much to fix that beyond getting an additional funnel. But then again, those funnels don't fit. Uh, this is 6 funnel capacity, this is 8. No, it just won't fit. If I go with an enhanced funnel, at least I get 85%. And that gives me two tons, <laughs> just two tons to add armor. <laughs> right. Here's your armor. 0.4%, oh, sorry, 0.4 inches of armor belt. Uh, no, I don't want range. We're not going anywhere. We are absolutely not going anywhere. Give me the armor. Six inches of armor belt. That's uh, <laughs> actually pretty surprising. For this era. Um, the conning tower is not that important. Aft belt, maybe a bit more. There, one and a half. Let's try and balance these things out a bit more. Two and a half and five. Because I'm going to be going bow in to try and get the torpedo launcher from the bow to fire. And then probably turning port or starboard to get the other launchers to bear. This is going to be painful. Um, I have a current crew capacity of 216. So that means that I get 216. Let me pull up the calculator. 216 times 12 is a total of 2,592 crew members. That is all that I'm taking into the fight. 2,592. That might already get me 10 points. It might not. It's really going to depend on how the other guys build their ships. And you can find their attempts linked down below in the description. All right, let's head on to the battle. Okay, let's see what the Chinese built. Interesting design of a battleship. Three main turrets. And hopefully not a ton of funnels. Enemy has been spotted to the north. Formation normal, but line abreast. I want to make sure I get as many torpedo hits as possible. And I also want the formation from the Blake, formation abreast, that way. Formation abreast means these ships are also going to be side by side by side. That's the plan. Nobody gets to launch torps without my say-so. And nobody uses smokescreen without my say-so. I want the raccoon to slow down a bit. As the leader of the division, I want the Newcastle to slow down a bit. And over here we have the Blake. Slow down a bit. Otherwise the ships will not be able to catch up. Northwest. Gentlemen, we're going to turn. I might eventually end up getting all of these cruisers in separate divisions. So no formations whatsoever. To make it easier to go on the offensive. Contact. Range. 6.2 kilometers. We've spotted them. And they've just spotted me. Smoke up. Detach all the ships. The surprise, the caster, get out. The caster and the flora. Increase the flank speed. And try and get out of there as best you can. Get out there and kill some ships. Argonaut, raccoon. Raccoon back up to flank speed. Newcastle, take your group and go. Pegasus, full ahead flank. I'm not going to smoke up all the light cruisers yet. I first want to see if I can get, well, at least one of these guys to get in there and engage. 
And I really hope that the Chinese warships aren't too fast. Because that'll make it more difficult to catch up to them. Oh. Range 3-9. There's one straggler over there. Come on, don't be fast, don't be fast. The minimum speed is... Oh, shit. They can do 18 knots. Oh, no. They do have minimum bulkheads, so that's nice. Yedong is doing 14 knots. Which means she is relatively slower than she can be. We need to head towards the position where they're going to be, not where they are now. Newcastle, detach your div. Increase back to flank speed. That's the Aurora. Concord. Flank. And we still have Aurora and Bologna over there. Spread. Flank. Now, that hit... Seemingly has not caused any loss of life. No, sorry, it has caused some loss of life. I already lost four crew members. Go on. We got a partial pin with a four inch gun. That's impressive. Go, 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 go. The first ship's going to take a ton of damage and probably will go down with complete loss of life. Go, 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 go. Smoke screen available in four minutes. The thing is, I probably won't be here in four minutes. 377 meter turning circle. That's pretty damn good. Who's having a hug? Pegasus. Newcastle. Cut it out. We need to get over to the enemy fleet, not hug the whole formation here. Yudong. Speed. Still 14, 16, 16, 17. Cut into them. Looks like the Blake won't survive. The Ding Xing is straggling. But I doubt I'll be able to get in there fast enough to torp them. And then again, I only have one torpedo on these ships. Oh shit, there goes my speed. That's a partial pen. That's another partial pen. Oh no. Smoke up and torp out, whenever you can. Because in the next 30 seconds, you're going to be down. You'll be sunk. Push that torpedo out of there. There we go. Have they spotted the torp? They have not spotted the torp. But they will, soon. There. Impact on the chiffon. Starboard launch. Surprise, just launched starboard launcher at the Xiangjing. Shifan is hurting. Pretty badly. Impact, Jianying. Surprise is down. That's 216 crew members that I'm never seeing again. Torpedo launcher bow. You get that? Flora, torpedo launcher starboard. Torpedo away. Keep going. The Blake also took a pretty hefty beating, probably from that one. Torpedo away. Flora, starboard side. Against the already hit Chiffon. Caster. Come on, buddy. Pick your target. Either launch the bow launcher at the Xianying, or the starboard launcher at the Jingxing. Come on, quick. Don't tell me they've been destroyed. That'd be annoying. Ooh. We have hit the Sifan again. And the Flora is well on her way to getting a hit on the Yidong. Caster launched her starboard torpedo against the Xixing. Good. It's the last thing she'll do, probably. Adelaide, Raccoon, that way. The rest of you overwhelm the other cruiser. I'm oh, sorry, the, the battleship. Hit! Shifan 
is not sinking. I need to launch the torpedo, but at what? At the chiffon? No, you just did now. Yeah, you launched your torpedo at the chiffon, but now you launched the torpedo at the yidong. Very good. Raccoon, get in there. Blake, smoke up. These guys are too well equipped at dealing with torpedoes. They, well, <laughs> not really. They don't have any torpedo blisters. Torpedo away, port side, Yidong. Well done, Flora. Or was that... The, no, that was the bow tube. Sorry, I keep switching ships, so... My attention is very much divided here. Ideally, the Flora would use... Port, port tube against the Yidong, starboard tube against Shifan. But I'm not sure which tubes I have and have not used. Uh, this is going to be an, a difficult launch. I need to completely eliminate one of these battleships, because at this rate they all still have their guns available. This ship's dead in the water. Three engines damaged. 90% of buoyancy has been lost. Raccoon, torpedo away. Back. Back, 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 back. Get a good hit on them. Turn tail. Get the stern launcher into the Ding Jing as well. Come on. Come on. Yep, stern launch complete. Damage was blocked. That's impressive. There we go. I might even get the port launcher from the raccoon to hit the Jinjing. If she survives, that is. Hold off for a second. That's a perfect hit. Right on the bows where she was not flooded yet. That's good. Looks like we might get our first victim. There we go. We got our first battleship, so that's six points. One down, four to go. Flora, to my surprise, is not dead yet. But she will be now. There she goes. That means that they're going to target the Adelaide next. Oh, these guys are so low health. Raccoon, get in there. I still have some heavy... Sorry, some light cruisers left. Torpedo when ready. Looks like the Gifan is not going anywhere. Torpedo away. Serious damage in the Adelaide. We're going for the Xin Fix. Uh, sorry, Xin. Xixin next. That ought to kill her. There we go. Now we're starting to reduce some guns. Want you and you to go after the Yidong. Uh, Pegasus, that way. Blake is still alive? Impressive. Very impressive. Um, turn to port. See if you can get your starboard tube out and hit the Jingxin. If she doesn't... She's down, isn't she? 2%. Torpedo away. Now she's definitely down. Right, Adelaide, try and keep your distance. Dead. Three battleships down. Now we're getting somewhere. That's serious loss of life, though. I really wonder how the other guys are doing when it comes to completing this task. Considering that a battleship might take a lot more punishment, but potentially will also lose a lot more crew. Because you have a lot of packed, or tightly packed quarters. This should be fine. Give her a bit more lead on the bow tube. Torpedo away. 
Newcastle and Aurora. Ignore the Yidong. Your objective is behind it. The Zhanying. Turn to port. Yidong flooding. Engines are damaged. I love that flare effect from the sun. So, is that glare, I think? Raccoon? If you can, starboard side against the Yidong, just to finish her off altogether. Adelaide, I want you to pull back. Considering that the Adelaide lost about 50% of her structural integrity and more than that of her buoyancy, I think it's impressive that she only lost 26 sailors. Come on, Raccoon. It'd be nice if you survived, because you still have a lot of crew left. Come on, they're down to 2%. Oh shit, the Aurora is not. The Aurora has been flooding. But she still has all of her crew. Surprisingly. 1%? Pegasus. Finish it. Torpedo launch from... Stern of Raccoon. Pegasus hold. Oh, Pegasus also pitched in. Yeah, she's definitely gone. Alright, Newcastle. There we go. That's four of them down. I now need to start writing down how much crew I still have alive. Let's see. Um, not that much. I have 190 here. I have full here, so that's 216. Argonaut, still 216. Very good. Raccoon, 198. Not as good. Aurora, 216. Then we have the Newcastle, currently 215, but I think that'll change. And the Bologna is at 216. So, so far, not too bad. Yes, a lot of sailors have been killed. But these battleships already lost a lot more. Because they started out with 888 crew members. And that was per ship. Already sunk four of them. Torpedo away, bow launcher, Newcastle. Newcastle turned to port. Let's hope the Zhang Ying doesn't accidentally or intentionally put some serious damage on this ship. Yeah, I lost another sailor there. Missed? Ricocheted. Okay, I'll take it. Port site launch, Newcastle. Go on. If the friendlies could stop hitting the Newcastle, that would be lovely. I know you guys are well intentioned, but poorly executing. There we go. That's another good torpedo hit. I think we might need one more. Because the Zhang Ying is still alive. And she's no longer really flooding badly. Yes, her rudder compartment and one engineering section, but beyond that, nothing. We need more. We need more. Torpedo away. Starboard side on the Bologna. Or was that the bow launcher? Hard to tell. Very happy that the Adelaide survived with as many people as she did. So that's the 190. Check. The Pegasus is at 216. Check. Concord, 216. Argonaut, 216. We had the Raccoon at 198. Yes. The Bologna at 216. And there she goes. And I cannot select that. I'm going to say that she had 212, I think it was. This means that I have kept alive 1,464 of my sailors. So percentage-wise, that is 1,464 divided by my starting number of 2,592 means that 56% of my crew survived. 56%. Um, considering I sunk all the battleships and caused a lot more loss of crew and capital on their part, I'd say it's a good result. But whether it's good enough to get another bunch of points remains to be seen. 
I did, however, lose a few of my ships. I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ships alive. So I lost five ships. That means that despite me sinking all the battleships for 30 points, I did lose five points. So I get 25 points for getting the kills. Potentially the lowest number of crew members. So that might be 10 points. Depending on how many crew members the guys went with for their battleships. So mine was 2592. Um, and, well, let's see how many people they can keep alive. We shall have to wait until the other guys get the results in. More on that, of course, by watching their videos. Links down below in the description. Brother Monroe, Serious Strategy Gamer, and Spartan Elite 43. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And on to next week, where we get the finale of this season. See you then.